And then I went and looked at her page, and that's when I saw that it was the girl that was in the mugshot. At first, I didn't put two and two together. And um, it that was probably the hardest part of the whole breakup was reading that and just knowing, like, wow, like, he just fucking said fuck you and found some other girl and that's it and um I never like reached out to him and said that I knew about her or anything I had Mario call her and tell her that or tell her had Mario call Garrett and tell him to like change his password and his phone number so that I wouldn't get notifications anymore and I wouldn't be able to get in because I didn't want to be tempted so um Mario called him and he changed it and, um, yeah, so I didn't say anything about it until, uh, I saw, I think I saw him at the mall and, um, I, I kind of broke down. I started crying and I was just like, who is this girl? Like, you love her? And he's like, nah, I don't love her. Like, I'm like, you like, you're in love with her. And he's like, no, there's a difference between like loving somebody like, yeah, they're cool. I love them. I got love for them and being in love with somebody like I'm in, like, I was in love with you and don't worry. Like, this is hard on me too. Something along those lines. And he's like. She, she was just someone to pass the time by with it. I didn't expect it to turn into anything, but like, I don't believe that. I feel like he was with her long before and he was just trying to protect my feelings. But yeah, he, um, he didn't even know that I knew about her. Yeah, I, def I definitely, oh, hi, PP. Welcome. I definitely think he was cheating. I mean, I can't prove it, and I don't know for sure, but I just, I have that gut feeling. I mean, as far as I know, I never, I was there, like, pretty much every weekend, and I had friends that were there. Like, nobody ever reported back that he was with another girl. I never heard of him writing other girls or anything. I, I really, truly do not think Garrett was fucking me over in prison or that he intentionally planned to get out and fuck me over. I just think that he fell for somebody else. And I was, like I said in my post the other day, I was that obstacle. Like, he didn't want to hurt me, but he wanted to make himself happy. And Nellie was what made him happy, so he had to choose. And instead of choosing and just being a man and saying, look, I met somebody, he was just trying to be awful to me, hoping that I would break up with him, which I did. And now he can be happy with Nellie. Baby, come here. Everybody wants to see you. Here she is. Oh, thank you. He's not on season two. God, don't assume things. So annoying. Like, trust me, he's not on season two. No, nobody from season one is on season two. It's a new cast. to learn how to be patient and wait for things. Hi, Mama. No, um, the other dog was Garrett's dog that he abandoned. And, um, thank you. You giving me a bath? Um, and I couldn't bring her to Austin with me, so I found her a new home. I don't, I don't know when season two is going to air, but I'll tell you right now, if anybody's interested, the producer actually reached out to me today and asked if I had any friends that wanted to be on season two. So, um, if anybody wants to be on it, holler at me and I'll give you her contact information. But season two is going to air in 2019. Sorry. Had to pull my pants down. I am not hooking up with another prisoner to be on season two. Trust me. Just everyone stay tuned. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm dating all the time. I'm on this app called Hinge. I don't know if everyone's ever heard of it, but it's 
more like it's a dating app, but it only connects you with friends of friends. So anybody that I connect with isn't a total creep because they're friends with somebody that I know. Um, hey, I'm your mom. Ooh. Um, what? Who's your guy that knows Garrett? I wonder 